the briars Live alone and like it Doing whatever you please When your heart desires Free to hang around or fly At any old time No equivocation Most of all, no guarantees That can be your motto Free of obligation Only the murmuring breeze As an obligato Live alone and like it Why is that such a crime? Free to call the tune, free to say if you're gonna work or stay, you can have the moon, but you don't have to have it night and day. Anyway, on your own with only you to concern yourself doesn't mean you're lonely, just that you're free, live alone and like it, don't come down from that tree. Anyway, on your own with only you to concern yourself Doesn't mean you're lonely, just that you're free Live alone and like it, don't come down from that tree That's the answer for me That's the answer for me Welcome to The Signature Show. I'm Matthew Gardner, Signature's Artistic Director. Thank you to Tracy Lynn Oliveira and all the talented musicians for kicking things off with that Sondheim gem from the film Dick Tracy. And special thanks to Mark G. Meadows for that awesome new arrangement. Today marks the one year anniversary of Stephen Sondheim's passing. This season, we celebrate Stephen Sondheim's legacy with so many possibilities, a season of Sondheim, including three productions of his work and an abundance of special programming. You can learn more about what we have planned by visiting sigtheater.org slash Sondheim. As part of this tribute, we're launching an effort called Sharing Sondheim. We will invite our artists, staff, and audiences to speak or sing every single word of the more than 300 songs he wrote for the theater by the end of this season. Even for the dedicated Sondheim nerd, there are many lyrics you've probably never heard before. So we decided to put Which Way to the Stage cast members Mike Milan and Danny Stoller to the test with a game we're calling Sondheim or Someone Else. Hi, I'm Ethan Hurd, Signature's Associate Artistic Director and the director of the regional premiere of Anna Nagira's Which Way to the Stage. I'm here with the two amazing stars of the production, Danny Stoller and Mike Milan. Which Way to the Stage is about best friends, Judy and Jeff two musical theater actors who are waiting outside the stage door of the musical, If Then, to get an autograph from the show's star, Adina Menzel. If you are a Sondheim fanatic like all of us, <laughs> we promise you'll love this show. Today, we are going to test Danny and Mike's Sondheim expertise with a little game called Sondheim or Someone Else. <laughs> I'm going to give you both a lyric and you have to guess if it was written by Stephen Sondheim or by a famous pop star. Ooh. Get ready, because we have some deep cuts coming at you. Ooh. Are we ready? Yes, yes let's go! <laughs> Sondheim or Snoop Dogg. Bootleg war. Skirts are getting higher. Bootleg war. Skirts are getting higher. OK. Let's reveal. Snoop Dogg? Sondheim. The correct answer is Sondheim! Oh! From the song Montana Chem in the musical Saturday Night. Oh, that old yeah. chestnut. It's referring to the 20s <laughs> as in like skirts are getting shorter, and you know, like Chicago. Okay, fine. I was just thinking sort of skirts and like yeah, no, Snoop Dogg. Skirts. Yeah, that was the name of his, his first album. Skirts, <laughs> skirts with Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sondheim or Billy Joel? Now that you're here, it's not the same situation. Suddenly, I don't remember the rules anymore. Okay. I hear you. Billy Joel. 
Correct answer is Billy Joel oh! from his song, This Night. I don't know any Billy Joel. Yes, you do. I don't. I know You're Piano like, Man. Is what that about Billy like Joel the stranger or is that Upton John? moving out? <laughs> Mm, moving out. I know that one from yeah, the musical. Yeah, from the musical, moving out. <laughs> Twilight. Yeah, yeah. Be like choreograph by. Okay. Sondheim or John Lennon. As soon as you're born, they make you feel small, by giving you no time instead of it all, till the pain is so big you feel nothing at all. Let's go to. Uh, I Mike. think that's also Stevie Sons. I think it's John Lennon. Danny is doing very well. Oh John God, Lennon, working class hero. He's John Lennon, sort of the Stephen Sondheim, Sondheim of, of pop you of, music. Of British men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sending you good vibes. Uh, thank you so much. I need them. <laughs> Sondheim or Doja Cat? Oh. It takes freak types to make up a world. Everybody's a freak. Yeah. 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 This is hard. Let's do a reveal. I'm going with Sondheim. There's a cat. Ding, 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 ding! Yes! yes! Sondheim cut song from the film Birdcage. Yes. I had no idea. Birdcage? Yeah, it's like a little queer moment for oh the freak. Oh my freaks. god! Stephen Sondheim or Ray Charles? I want the truth and not a lie. I want to know. Because if I feel good on the inside, I must admit that you're a much better man than I. <laughs> this one's hard. You gotta go with your gut sometimes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Ray Charles? Sometimes. Ray Charles, tell me how do you feel? Shit. Yes. Oh, well, we're kind well, of, well, I think nice. we're Okay. We're Sondheim or Katy Perry? Stand proud, look fierce. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Stand proud, look fierce. Honestly, just because I hope, like, I hope this is Stephen Sondheim. Sondheim. Yes! That's my girl! Yeah. Hey, sis! Big from Frogs. Okay, so basically, yeah. we're, now, we're now tied. So whoever wins this one is the winner. If I lose after my strong showing at the beginning, <laughs> I will quit theater. I, either way, we've both done a, a great, a job, great job. Yes, great I applaud job. you both. This is the final question. It is indeed the tiebreaker. Sondheim or Bob Dylan? Show me an epidemic. I'll show you a board of health. Show me a starving people. Show me an insurrection. Take your time. Consider deeply. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> Bob, Bob Dylan? Dylan? Incorrect! <gasps> Sondheim, from oh. his song, Don't Laugh, from the musical Hotspot, a 1963 show composed by Mary Rogers, which he contributed lyrics for. So we tied, just like Jeff and Judy would have. That oh. actually is really perfect. Oh, we babe. Drew across. Here, wait, put your yeah. hands. Thank oh. you. For Steve. <laughs> for Steve. Yes. Love ya. Yeah. Hi, I'm Michelle Lee, President and CEO of STGI, and a proud supporter of Signature Theatre since 2004. I'm excited to be the lead sponsor of Into the Woods, the first Sondheim production this season. It may surprise you to know that I didn't grow up with theatre in my life, now, I can't imagine life without Signature Theater because this theater brings all of our community together like no others. I'm thrilled to share with you that I will be matching all donations from now till December 31st, and I hope you'll join me in giving to Signature this fall. Your gift helped make innovative work and powerful arts education possible. I will match your donation dollar to dollar Together, we can keep Signature strong. There's so much more to come this season. You need to double your impact today. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
Over the last 33 years, Signature has mounted 31 productions of Sondheim's musicals, more than any other theater in North America. And this month, we opened our 32nd one with our reimagined production of Into the Woods. One of the things that makes Sondheim's work so enduring is the ability to bring new perspectives to his work. In the words of Mr. Sondheim, what keeps theater alive is the chance always to do it differently, with not only fresh casts, but fresh viewpoints. Mr. Sondheim always championed those fresh viewpoints, especially with our work at Signature. So, in that spirit, we decided to close out our episode with a new take on one of Sondheim's earliest songs. Here's Awa Salsaka and Lenny Williams with Love I Hear from A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. Now that we're alone, may I tell you, I've been feeling very strange. Either something's in the air or else a change is happening. From everything I've learned, there's only one cause it can be. Love I hear makes you silent. Also, love I hear leaves you weak. Oh, love I hear makes you blush and turns you Feel 